Alright, hey, how's it going? My name's Cole. I'm going to be showing you guys how to rig a blue water spear gun. Uh, I'm going to be going to the South Pacific hunting uh, dogfood tunas. I'll be using stainless steel cable. I'm going to show you how to splice that to make your crimp a lot more strong. And um, yeah, a few other little techniques with a little bungee. Alright, first things first, you always want to put the crimp on first. <laughs> This is pre-cut. You want to get this to the... You want to get three out of the seven. Once you get that, you uncoil them. Make sure you give yourself plenty extra to work with so it's not coming uncoiled as you're trying to splice. I measured first and cut. So if it ever comes uncoiled, just keep twisting with it and it'll tighten itself up. So here you go. Got the crimp on. Let's make our loop. This one is going to go on top. On the loop about that big. There it goes. You want to find a nice little seam where it goes in. Looks good. You'll know if you're going the right way because it will sit in nicely and the cable will become whole again and they'll sit right in the groove. And you're going to keep going until it's full and full, fully through, and creates a nice complete loop. Need to find where they join up. This one wants to go. Does it want to go one more time? Maybe it wants to go to the other side. Ooh. Yeah, tight crimp. There it is. And then you get it together. So you're going to want to keep splicing until the cable becomes whole. You might have to do one more pass and it's going to come together nicely. If not, keep splicing or try again. And that is a perfect one and will greatly increase the strength of your crimp so now let's uh cut it get it to the length i want Be careful because as you cut it sometimes it likes to come unwind so splicing this will make this much stronger. The cable will physically break before the splice or the crimp comes undone. This is a good technique. It's going to take some practice, but keep going. And once you're comfortable making a loop, you can do it to the shark fin tab on your spear gun in the shaft like you see below. It takes a little practice. You're going to make the loop a little bit tighter, but just keep practicing and it will work. All right, so let's string it up. our line release here. Let's get a fresh one. Let's get a nice long one. So this bungee is great stuff. I suggest having a little bit extra. You can use it for your knife and your sheath. Making bungees like this for your guns and other practical uses. Keep your shafts together or whatnot. So you want it tight but not too tight. On the next clip, you'll see how I attach it to my float line. I'll add two small D shackles and a swivel so that the float line stays nice and untangled, easier to coil and retrieve. That's about right. So this is how I rig my spear gun. And this goes to the float line, never gets kinked, stainless steel. Um, Shout out to Hilton West who showed me how to splice this cable for the dog tooth tunas. And uh, yeah, she's ready to rip. You just got the knot, pull back, save you from a $12 part. Burn the ends off these right here and we're ready to rock. Got a little tuna clip here, really nice to have on your weight belt. If you got the little thing, you could just clip it to your belt and then you can use both of your hands. All right, guys. Here I'm going to show you how to 
properly install a slip tip on my experience. You know, you do all the work, you finally get there, you're in the right position, and you want to uh, have a slip tip come undone when you finally hook up to that fish is uh, a heartbreaker. So this is Teflon tape that uh, plumbers use a lot. And um, just make sure that it doesn't get corroded or the metal doesn't get locked in. You can just kind of break it off with your hand right there look you can push the threads in it's uh, nice clean right there so there's a lot of people making slip tips now the best is Mori Mori makes the best spear tips there are um, in my humble opinion I've tried other options and I paid for it so if you're going for the big ones use the best tips you can get Obviously you put the slide ring on first, and then this should go on, since it's a Mori shaft to a Mori tip, should go on pretty easy once he gets past that. We'll hit that Teflon tape. All right, it's starting to get a little harder. That's what the vice grips are for. A pinch. Small one goes here. Crank it down. Oh yeah, there it goes. This is the preferred method. Still going. Lots of turns. Just locked up there. That probably had eight turns. So another little trick I learned, I actually learned this one from my first trip to Tonga when I was diving with um, Daryl Wong. I was a guide over there and was helping Daryl Wong and Sherry Day and Andy get on some of their biggest dog tooths. What you can do is put a little electrical tape, stack it up there, and uh, it will prevent the slide ring from going into this enclosed track. If you have an enclosed track, if this slide ring gets put under there, it can uh, it'll definitely throw your shot off, and you're gonna ask what happened. But that electrical tape will keep that from going in there. You know, after one or two shots. Um, might replace it, or sometimes it stays good. Never really know. All right, so I mentioned this before. You don't want to have the slide ring go inside your enclosed track so it sits like that. It can really mess your shot up if it gets jammed in there. All right, here's my favorite way of doing this. Spin, maybe even better, you can just turn the gun. If you don't have line on it. Okay. Once you get it, it's about the same thickness as uh, the slide ring. So if you can see, it's the same size, so it shouldn't be any speed lost by having the tape on here. It just keeps this slide ring from going down a little bit further. Cheers.